by saying, I have had the privilege and honor of serving as deputy president to my friend, President Uhuru Kenyatta for the last 10 years. And it's an honor that I cherish. I am the only Kenyan who has served as an elected deputy president under our new constitution. I don't consider that a simple thing, and I thank God for it. I want to thank all. I have worked with many people. I have worked with many leaders. I have worked with many members of parliament and senators and members of our executive. And they have supported me in my responsibilities. And on this prayer breakfast day, I want to thank God for all of you and wish each and every one of you well as you uh, journey into the future. I also want to thank my brother, President Uhuru Kenyatta, who's been my boss and leader for the opportunity to serve with him the people of Kenya. My friend, President Uhuru Kenyatta, as you head to retirement, it's my prayer that God will give you every aspiration of your heart. <laughs> and make it possible for you to enjoy the legacy that you have built and to enjoy every peace of the time God will give you. That's my prayer. <laughs> to the great people of the Republic of Kenya, I know we have tried our best. We may not have done as much as you'd have expected of us. We have failed you in some areas. We haven't we have, we have not been as united as we should have been. We have failed in some areas. We ask, and specifically myself, I ask for your forgiveness. I also know that uh, serving as deputy president, I may have fallen short of expectations of my boss, His Excellency the President, my good friend, I ask for your forgiveness. I know also in this journey, many people have hurt me. But on this prayer breakfast, I forgive everybody. I forgive everybody. I want us to go into this election free of the debt of heart and free of the debt of forgiveness. We are all human beings, and the Bible says, In Isaiah 1, 18, we have fallen short. So where we have fallen short, to all uh, my friends, na waomba msamaha, na kila mtu ambaye amenikosea pia, na msamehe kila mtu, with a clean heart. So that we can transition, because this prayer breakfast is about transition, so that we can transit into the next phase, minus any debt to anybody. Let me conclude by saying the following. I know there is a lot of anxiety in Kenya as to what will happen with the election. 
I want to speak on behalf of my team and I. And I want to tell the people of Kenya from this prayer breakfast that we will do everything possible within our power to make sure that the elections are peaceful. We will go out of our way. I also want to tell the people of Kenya that we believe we are the best team. But we also know that in Psalms 20, verse 7, the Bible tells us there are those who trust in chariots and there are those who trust in horses. But we trust in God. I believe that whoever will be elected in this election, it will be the will of God and we will respect the will of God as expressed by the will of the people of Kenya. That is my commitment on behalf of myself and my team. And I am sure, as mother, my sister mother has said, they too believe in that. So I want to say again, I don't want to prolong this, to say thank you very much.